Have you ever wondered why Pluto, once a revered ninth planet in our solar system, has been relegated to the status of a dwarf planet? Let's journey back to the year 1930, a time of discovery and excitement in the world of astronomy. Enter Clyde Tombaugh, a young man from Illinois, armed with nothing more than a high school education and a profound fascination for the cosmos. Tombaugh's contributions to astronomy would soon catapult him into the annals of history. While working at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, Tombaugh was tasked with an ambitious project to search for the elusive Planet X, a hypothetical planet beyond Neptune. Through arduous work, meticulous observation and a little bit of cosmic luck, Tombaugh did indeed discover a new celestial body. This was no ordinary discovery. It was the discovery of Pluto. The world of astronomy was abuzz with the news of this new planet, the ninth in our solar system. Named after the Roman god of the underworld, Pluto was initially believed to be larger than Earth. This belief, coupled with the intrigue of the unknown, catapulted Pluto into the realm of fascination and curiosity. However, as our understanding of the cosmos deepened and our technology advanced, further observations of Pluto began to paint a different picture. It was no longer the large, mysterious planet it was initially thought to be. In fact, it was much smaller than our Earth, even smaller than our own moon. Yet despite its small size, Pluto's discovery marked a significant milestone in our quest to understand the universe. It was a testament to human curiosity and our unyielding desire to explore the cosmos. It was a symbol of our ability to push the boundaries of what we know and venture into the unknown. At its discovery, Pluto held the distinguished title of the ninth planet in our solar system, a title it would unfortunately not retain. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's revel in the excitement of the discovery that once made us redefine our cosmic neighborhood. So what indeed makes a planet a planet? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, among billions of celestial bodies, the title of planet is not awarded lightly. This honor is strictly regulated by the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, who have laid out three primary criteria which a celestial body must meet to be classified as a planet. Firstly, a planet must orbit the Sun. This may seem obvious, but it's a crucial factor that distinguishes planets from moons and asteroids. To be a planet, a celestial body must be gravitationally bound to the Sun, rather than another planet. This is why our Moon, despite having many planet-like features, doesn't make the cut. The second criterion is that a planet must be spherical, or nearly so, in shape. This is a result of the body being large enough for its own gravity to pull it into a round shape. This is why objects like asteroids, which can be irregular and jagged, are not considered planets. The third and final criterion is perhaps the most contested. A planet must have cleared its orbit of other debris. This means that the planet must be the dominant gravitational force in its orbit around the Sun, effectively clearing its path of other objects. These criteria might seem straightforward enough. After all, a planet should be a significant, round, Sun-orbiting body, right? But it's this last criterion, the requirement of clearing its orbit, where things start to get a little tricky, and where Pluto, our beloved ninth planet, starts to stumble. You see, Pluto's orbit is part of the Kuiper Belt, a region teeming with icy bodies and debris. Because of this, it fails to meet the third criterion of clearing its orbit, and thus, according to the IAU, cannot be classified as a planet. These criteria, seemingly straightforward, would ironically lead to the downfall of Pluto's planetary status. In 2005, a significant discovery shook the foundations of our solar system structure. A celestial body, larger than Pluto, was found lurking in the edges of our solar system. This dwarf planet, named Eris, caused quite a stir within the scientific community. Suddenly, the established order of our cosmic neighborhood was in question. You see, the discovery of Eris triggered a heated debate among astronomers. If Eris, larger than Pluto, was not a planet, then what was it? And if it was a planet, then what did that make Pluto? The lines between planets and other celestial bodies were becoming increasingly blurred. This controversy marked a turning point, not just for Pluto, but for the entire classification of planets in our solar system. The International Astronomical Union, or the IAU, found themselves in the eye of this storm. 
they were tasked with making sense of this new discovery and its implications. This led to a re-evaluation of what it truly means to be a planet. Until then, there were no clear-cut criteria, but with Eris now on the table, a concrete definition was needed more than ever. The IAU convened in 2006, a year after Eris's discovery. The objective was clear. Define what a planet is. The decision they reached was that a planet must fulfill three criteria. First, it must orbit the sun. Second, it must be round or nearly round. And third, it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto fulfilled the first two criteria without a hitch. It orbits the sun and it is round. However, it faltered on the third. Pluto's orbit is full of other objects. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, an area of the solar system beyond Neptune that's packed with icy bodies and other debris. Because of this, Pluto could not be classified as a planet. As a result, the IAU made the landmark decision to demote Pluto from its planetary status. Instead, it was classified as a dwarf planet, a new category that was introduced to accommodate bodies like Pluto and Eris. This decision was met with a mixed response. Some accepted the new classification, acknowledging the need for a more precise definition. Others, however, were not as receptive. For many, Pluto's demotion was a hard pill to swallow. After all, since its discovery in 1930, Pluto had been considered the ninth planet in our solar system. Generations of people had grown up learning about the nine planets, and now, all of a sudden, there were only eight. The decision sparked a wave of debates and discussions, not just among the scientific community, but among the public as well. Some argued that the IIAU's decision was too rigid, while others defended it as a necessary step towards a better understanding of our cosmos. And so, with a single decision, Pluto was stripped of its planetary status, causing an uproar among scientists and the public alike. Despite the controversy, one thing is for sure, the demotion of Pluto has forever changed our view of the solar system and how we define what a planet truly is. Pluto's demotion sparked debates and discussions that continue to this day. The celestial body, once regarded as the ninth planet, found itself stripped of its planetary status, causing waves of controversy across the globe. Scientists, astronomers and space enthusiasts alike took part in these spirited discussions, each presenting their point of view on what truly defines a planet. To summarise our journey, we embarked on a voyage through the cosmos, starting with the discovery of Pluto. In the early 20th century, an American astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh spotted a tiny dot moving against the backdrop of stars. This dot, later named Pluto, was celebrated as the ninth planet of our solar system for over seven decades. We then delved into the complex world of planetary classification, exploring the criteria set by the International Astronomical Union. A planet, as defined by the IAU, must orbit the Sun, be spherical in shape, and have cleared its orbit of other debris. Next, we ventured into the heart of the controversy, the discovery of Eris. Slightly larger than Pluto and located in the Kuiper Belt, Eris challenged the existing definition of a planet. This led to a significant re-evaluation of what constitutes a planet, culminating in the infamous 2006 IAU vote that reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. In the aftermath of this decision, debates rage on. Some argue that the IAU's decision was harsh and unnecessary, while others believe it was a necessary step in refining our understanding of the universe. Despite the controversy, one thing remains clear. This has ignited a renewed interest in the exploration of our solar system. While Pluto may no longer be a planet in the eyes of the IAU, it will always hold a special place in our hearts and in the vast expanse of our solar system. The story of Pluto serves as a reminder of our endless quest for knowledge and our ever-evolving understanding of the cosmos.